talk about democracy and what is democracy. The history in this, this country of democracy, Western democracy, I'll call it, is uh, very old and our people have been involved in this discussion from the beginning. From the first meeting that we made in, with the Dutch in 1613, the Turo Wampum Belt, which established our style of interaction and relationship. And at that time we said that you have a canoe, or we have a canoe and you have a boat, and in your boat you have many religions, many colors of people, and ways of life. We said in our canoe we have simple life. We have, uh, you might call a hard life, but life that we, we like. And in our canoe is our people, our government, our way of life. We'll, we'll connect our two boats, our ships, our two vessels, with what we call the covenant chain of peace. And they'll be made of three links. The first link is peace. The second link is equity. And the third link is how long will it last? And we said that when we make this agreement, it should last as long as the sun rises in the east, sets in the west, as long as the rivers run downhill, and as long as the grass grows green. Which there are some contradictions already, but, <laughs> but still and all, the sun is still rising, setting. And so we made this agreement this covenant chain, and we hooked our two vessels together, and we said, we're going to float down Kaswenta, the great river of life, side by side, in peace and friendship, for as long as we exist. That was the essence of our, our agreement in the beginning. And so uh, that's what we've been gauging all of our agreements with down through the centuries. First, the two role. And many nations have held that. Then the English landed in uh, Cape Cod. The Englishmen landed there in about 1620, although there were many people back and forth, but they were coming for real on this one. And, uh, and we watched them. And Several hundred years later, in 1776, they declared themselves Americans, and they said that they no longer had allegiance to their father, the King of England, that they were separate, that they were sovereign, that they were independent. And the question arises is how did they make this transition? How did they come from an Englishman to an American? Because in 17, 50 or 1776 or 1700, an American was an Indian. Everybody else was what they were. So they said they were Americans. And they made this transition through hundreds and hundreds of meetings that we held up and down the coast, inside and always over land, always over problems. and. And we knew them very well, and they knew our leaders very well. We spent a lot of time in Philadelphia, and in New York, and in Albany. And so 